Good morning, everybody. I wanted to make a quick video to show you all how to add and use the question function on Google Classroom. So when you navigate to your classroom, you'll know that uh, if you use Google Classroom already, you'll know that there's a variety of assignments that you can assign to your students. Uh, when you do, they appear here in the stream, but then they also, of course, are housed on Classwork. So I wanna go over with you the different types of questions that you can assign and why I think this might be a really great way to take the pulse of your class and to reach out to them in a really informal, uh, formative way. So when you enter your classroom and you go into Classwork, you click on Create, and you can create what's called a question. There are two types of questions. If you click through, you can see them. The first is a short answer question. As far as I'm aware, there's not necessarily a limit for text. I've had students, just to test this before, copy and paste entire paragraphs from a website to put in there. So there's no character limit. And you can ask any kind of question. So uh, for example, what is your favorite movie or a TV show? And why? You can provide secondary instructions like use complete sentences or spell check and grammar check before you submit your answer. If you want, you can add a resource to this. If you would like to add a PDF document and have them write a response to the document, or if you want to add a video and have them write a response to the video, or uh, what are your five favorite new things that you learned from this video type question, you could use short answer to do that. Um, you can, this is the same functionality that you have through adding a question that you have through adding a regular assignment. Um, over here on the right hand side, you'll see that you can assign it to different classrooms if you want all of your classes to answer the same question, maybe a, a feedback check in question and it's the same for all of your classes, you can do that here. You can choose particular students that you want to assign this question to. You can change the points to whatever best fits your grading schema. You can select a due date and time and you can also assign it to a topic. I'm going to assign it to unit one. You can have students reply to each other if that's something you're comfortable doing, and you can also allow students to edit their answer. Feel free to toggle these on and off based on your teaching style and what you want out of the lesson. So when you've created this, you can hit ask and it will ask a question to um, everybody there. Let me show you what a multiple choice looks like and then I'll show you how to check answers once you have them. So if I want to create a multiple choice question, which is the best color, which of course is not a good multiple choice question because it's subjective. Um, if you click on multiple choice, you see the options pop up here. So I'm going to just put a couple in, go with primary colors. Uh, the best answer, of course, is yellow, but they can choose what they want. So you might want to put in the instructions, either select the correct answer, or you can say this is based on participation if you're just trying to pull them and, and get a good idea. Once again, you can change all of the things here and submit it. So once you have asked your questions, um, one moment for it to populate you'll see them pop up in your unit. I've already created two questions and I've got a few answers for them already, so I'll show you how to look at them. So if I want to check the answers to a question, I can either find it in the stream, and click on the one that I want, or I can go directly to Classwork, open up the question that I want to check, and right away, I can see the answers. Um, looks like the person who answered this picked dog, which I said great on participation, even though the correct answer is dog. So they picked the answer that I wanted, but they gave me participation. If I wanna see more details and not just an overview, this might be great if you wanna show the responses to your classes. Notice how it doesn't say who answered what. If I do wanna see individual responses, I can click on view question. I can click on the person who answered it and it will show me what they chose, okay? So if you're using this as a way to assess them, you can see what their answer is. This is not Google Forms. You cannot ask multiple questions, nor can you assign a correct answer and assign a grade for it. This is just a quick one question, poll the audience type thing. So if you're just looking to, to have them answer one question, you don't wanna go through the whole rigmarole of making a form, consider using this. I also want to go back and show you what the uh, short answer response looks like. Earlier today, I asked the question, what is your favorite day of the week and why? And I can see the responses here as well. So I can see all of them listed with the students' names, or I can go in and look at the individual student, and then I can assign a grade this way. So this is just another way in which we can interact with our students. We can check in with them to see how they're doing. Perhaps during the later portion of this week, or um, when we are supposed to be checking in with our students, using Google Classroom could be a great way of just quickly asking a question just to see how everybody's doing and also monitoring who is accessing Google Classroom and doing the work that they're supposed to be doing. I hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything else I can do to assist, please reach out at any time to the NP techies at mplainful.org or you can talk to one of us directly. Have a wonderful day.